All right. Hello, Emily. My name is Robin and I will be working with you. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Have you been doing good and ready for the holidays? Oh, yes. I've been doing very well. Always ready for the holidays. Such a pleasurable time with family and friends and yummy food. Yes, I agree. Absolutely my favorite time of the year. So it looks like I got a referral from Bernard Smith. Yes, he's a colleague of mine and I asked him to make a referral to a good therapist and someone he would really recommend. Very good. Well, I will first tell you that everything we talk about is confidential. I do not disclose anything to anyone. However, I am mandated to report a threat of harm to self or to someone else and, you know, anything that's subjected to legal proceedings by the court. Sure. Right. I'll talk about, um, we'll stay amongst us. So do you agree with that? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I do. I do. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions so that I may better understand you so that our time together will be successful and productive. I like to get a good understanding of my patients' lives their family, and any information about them that may help in the treatment process. You know, a good analysis of all aspects. So, do you have any medical diagnosis? No, no, just minor acid reflux sometimes, and you know, an elbow injury from being a kid playing soccer, and had to go to specialists, and you know, physical therapy, but seemed to heal, and I don't have any problems with it. Okay, do you use any recreational drugs or alcohol? Oh, no drugs, no. Um, alcohol on occasion. Um, I did smoke some marijuana in college, but not since then. I do feel, though, that marijuana actually helps people with anxiety and pain and other things in today's society. Many of my clients are prescribed it by their physician, and they do seem to benefit from it. So they're able to stay off of illegal substances and sometimes prescriptions even. So I'm an advocate for people to have the choice over use of marijuana. Freedom is such an important factor in our country. Absolutely. So it seems to me that you have a strong political and moral values, and that is important to you. Do you and your family talk openly about topics? Oh, yes, absolutely. My husband and I taught our children to have an opinion and think about the world, the way we and they function, politics, you know, where they see themselves in the world. We value our children's input and both have strong inputs in life as well. Um, we want our child children to be knowledgeable and confident. Well, that certainly is a strength for your family and may be a valuable key to success. And the way that you bond together sounds like an asset for your entire family. And also very nice to see that your children can be comfortable with their parents, family, and self. Yes, I, I feel it's so important for them to be able to express themselves and talk about their personal lives. You know, growing up, it seemed like my family kind of lacked in communicating as much as I wanted us to. Mom and dad just turned a blind eye to things, so I didn't feel really supported. Uh, they fought a lot, I didn't really like that. Um, I think it has a lot to do with why I became a therapist, so I could help others. Yes, that sounds like it was difficult growing up, and it would be hard you know, when your parents don't listen or understand you, and I'm, I'm sorry that happened, but it does seem like you've become a great person and that you're very understanding to those you care about and serve. Do your children participate a lot in discussions? Yes, yes. We generally eat meals together and we talk a lot. Um, we also do a lot of activities together and we trust our children. They're good kids. We know their friends well. We most of them. <laughs> You know, we think we know a lot about them. <laughs> Our family is very open and accepting. We like diversity, challenge, and change. We embrace it. Awesome. That's absolutely amazing. And what do they think about your job? Well, you know kids. They, they try to act like I know everything sometimes. Um, generally, they do like that I'm a therapist. Okay, good, good, good. So let me go into your medical area just a little bit more. Um, are you prescribed any medications? I do have an anxiety medication, Alprazolam. I just use that as needed. I rarely use it, just when I'm extremely stressed. Sure. So what type of things stress you out generally? Well, my childhood wasn't crazy. It wasn't terrible either. My mom suffered from depression and slept a lot. and I sometimes felt lonely. 
As an adult, I do feel like I'm an overachiever, which isn't necessarily bad, but I may put more on my plate than needed. And being a full-time mother, therapist, wife, friend, does have a lot to it. I'm really busy, and sometimes it gets hectic, and I may need a complete break from it all. You know, so I might have a Xanax and watch a movie or take a hot bath. Self-care, you know, it's important. Yes, I, it is very important. Uh, you know, self-care is, is critical. Uh, and it may just be one of the most important and needed things that you can do for yourself. Do you think you have good relationships in your life? I do. I mean, I try to be supportive and empathetic and I have good relationships with coworkers and family and friends. And yeah, I do feel as though I have good relationships. So Emily, did you say you have any mental health diagnosis? Well, you know, I am a therapist, so I may self-diagnose sometimes, but really I only have mild anxiety. Well, it sounds like you live a very good life with many people whom you love and care about, which is an amazing thing. And so tell me a little bit about what brings you into Sammy. Right. Well, I do want to set up family therapy for myself, my husband, and my children. We recently found out that our son Simon is gay, and I want to make sure the family handles it well, and we make sure to support Simon. And I want our family to be close and supportive of each other through everything we're faced with. It doesn't bother me at all, and <clears throat> you know, I always thought he might be a bit different. We had suspicions. I'm happy that he was honest and told us how he felt. And I feel so it's a good sign. He feels he can tell us anything. Yes, that's absolutely a good sign, and that shows that you've done a great job raising him. So let me just make sure I understand what our goal is in this. And I think that it's your family has recently had a very big change, and you just want to make sure all the members are adjusting well, handling well, and you, that you're all very supportive of each other. And, and, and if they have questions, that's okay, and we can work through it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I do think we are okay, but I just want to make sure and I wanted to initiate it and talk about it with you before bringing in the whole family, you know, to make sure well, that I'm handling things okay as well and, and can communicate to the family in a positive way. Absolutely. We can definitely do that. So tell me a little bit about the, the members in your family. Sure. Um, so Jack, my husband, he and I have been together forever. He's moved to be parts. And, you know, he's definitely been like a guy's guy, sports, tough outer exterior, you know, kind of guy. But inside, he's such a kind and caring man. Um, Alice, our oldest daughter, she's off at college, doing great. Nora, she's 12. She loves to cook all the things. Um, and we eat all the things. And sometimes, you know, Bieber the dog might taste a few things too. Um, Simons, he's great. He um, he just gets good grades. He has good friends. I just really want what's best, you know, for all my kids. Sure. So, what would you say the strengths are of your family? I would say that we're strong in communication skills. Um, we're diverse, but I think in a good way. We all have our personal lives. Kids have school. We have work. We come together as a family and do things together. Attend games school functions, shopping, family vacations. My husband and I may be a little colorful, but I think our children like that about us as well. I do feel the need to spend more time together. Uh, I feel that I need to hear more from Simon and our other children on how it impacts them and their thoughts about it. I'm a little worried about Nora. She might feel a little bad that he didn't tell her. Um, and if any of Simon's plans for the future have changed and, you know, just what he currently wants out of life. Sure, sure. So, well, let's brainstorm some ways we can get started. We could have another session with you, you know, like you and um, Jack, if you want to, before we bring the kids in, or will, would that be helpful? Yeah, yes, that sounds good. All right, in the meantime, try having some special family moments, maybe where everyone comes together to have a good time, maybe a weekend trip or a nice dinner. Just let everyone know how much you love and support them. Let them talk freely with support. And then if any problems or hard conversations come up in the meantime, we can talk about that in our sessions. Yeah, that sounds good. We could do that. And it would be nice to have a little, you know, extra time to bond together. 
Yeah, you know, my aunt has a cabin on the lake. Very nice place. Um, we might go fishing and grow out. Kids would love it. Uh, my dad used to take me there. I loved it. Uh, we could grow hot dogs and make some s'mores. That'd be great. That sounds so fun. So fun. Well, being a therapist, I'm sure you're not, you know how to ask questions to kind of lead and invite the, the family to talk. Absolutely. Right. Now, also, I wanted to tell you, there is a support group on Tuesday nights at the rec center, and they specifically have one mating group um, that does sessions for family members, uh, you know, and individuals and friends that um, may be gay or experiencing a gay family member. So uh, you could definitely take advantage of that if you'd like. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. So would you like me to look up the day and time real quick? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Right here on my computer. Let's see. So it looks like it's on Tuesday nights from six to seven, and it says on there it may run over just a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, I think Jack would do that with me, and you can see what other parents are saying and thinking. Sure. Um, and so next week, you want to bring in the family. I think I might do the support group, do the things with the family we talked about, and, and be ready, yeah, for all of us to come in together. I, I think it'll work well. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, so I've got you scheduled for Monday at 7. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you then. Sure thing. So let me know if you need anything in the meantime. I will. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You as well. Thank you. Thank you.